Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is another crafting vlog and in this video I'm taking on the challenge of 3D printing and designing something from scratch. For those who are new, I'm Nia. I'm an artist and designer who loves creating cute, whimsical things, and I also have a small shop where I sell my designs called Pretty Magical. Recently, I picked up a 3D printer, which is something I've really wanted for a long time now. Ever since creating my toy Sad Serve, I've been trying to work up the nerve to buy one. 3D modeling has never really been my forte, but I kind of find drawing turnarounds a bit boring these days, and it's kind of exciting to see my designs three-dimensionally. So after dancing around for a while, and even been taking up other crafts like sewing and crocheting, finally picked up the Tina 2. I tend to like using kids craft kits when trying new hobbies because the instructions are often more beginner friendly, and with pets at home I wanted a low fume 3D printer to start with. So I chose the Tina 2 which is a child friendly model perfect for beginners like me. And I have to say it was pretty simple coming out of the box. I was surprised how quickly I made my first thing with it. So as eager as I am to jump right into making a figure, I do kind of want to take a more measured approach and work my way up to that. For now, I do want to try a project that is more manageable in scope. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to combine two things I've been wanting to do, 3D printing and clay making. Specifically, I want to make my own clay cutters. So I know it might seem a little bit contradictory to use a 3D printer to make clay charms and accessories, and you might wonder why I don't just 3D print the final pieces instead. But again, I've been interested in making things with clay for a while now. The thing that has held me back from doing it is not feeling like a great sculptor. I felt like the precision a clay cutter provides would be better than me trying to sculpt freehand, which terrible sculptor. You can ask any of my 3D teachers. And yeah, thought why not? Great opportunity to try it. Plus, I do have a bias towards 3D printed accessories. I feel like there's somewhat of a machine-like quality to the texture of them and I'm not partial to it. I think clay would be cool and it would feel unique and handmade. The vibe I want to capture. I had been inspired by these really cool star-shaped earrings from a photo shoot that I came across and I thought recreating those might be a good starting point. So disclaimer, I followed another tutorial on how to do this. I'll walk you guys through each step but I don't want to claim I had any prior knowledge on this. I'm just as new to 3D printing as some of you guys may be. Anyways, I began by designing the star shape in Illustrator and exporting that image as an SVG file. Then I hopped over to Tinkercad which is this really cool online 3D modeling program and I searched for a file called cookie cutter generator. This basically did all the work for me and all I had to do was import my SVG to modify the existing shape of the cookie cutter. That was amazing and I still don't quite understand everything that went into that template but that's a deep dive for another time. After a few tweaks I had my 3D model ready. I then exported the file from Tinkercad and opened it into Cura to do some small adjustments and again I'm not a Cura expert. This was my first time in the program so I was following my tutorial video pretty closely here. After I got got my final adjustments ready, I was ready to print, or so I thought. My printer only came with a micro SD card, and that does not go into IMAX. So I ran to Amazon and got what I needed, and now I'm ready to print my very first pair of 3D modeled earrings.
So here's the most unesthetic part of the video, actually using it on the clay. I thought this would be super satisfying, but I started with the colorful Sculpey clay and that was a mistake. I didn't want to have to paint initially, but that clay basically was like, no, yeah, you're going to have to paint because I don't want to be conditioned. It was really difficult to warm up in my hands and I got frustrated after a while and I just switched to the original Sculpey that I had. It was a million times easier to work with, super sticky in comparison, but not like super awful. Got what I needed to get done, which was cutting through the clay. So shout out OG Sculpey. The rest of the process I didn't quite document as closely, but here's the gist of it. I popped these eyelets into the clay before baking and then baked for about 15 minutes per the instructions. Then I sanded them, which in hindsight, I probably should have spent a little bit more time sanding to get a better surface. They're definitely still a bit textured after sanding, but that's okay. After sanding, I went over them with a fresh coat of acrylic paint and I sealed these off camera with UV resin. Now I'm the first to admit that the finishing touches were a bit rough. Painting kind of stresses me out so I tend to rush through it and that definitely happened here. In the future I'm just gonna have to slow down and take my time and not stress about the process and the paint drying and the perfect color. All of that jazz. Next time when there's a little bit less pressure, I'll focus more on polishing things up. So here are the final results of my little experiment. Are these amateur pieces only a mother could love? Maybe. Personally, I think the flaws just add to the charm of the earrings. But nevertheless, I'm excited to keep trying new things and perfecting my technique. I really liked the process of making these earrings and I would totally do it again. I just probably give myself a little bit more time. And that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this little arts and crafts adventure. Let me know if you tried 3D printing or using clay after seeing my process and yeah I just love trying new hobbies and crafts and just getting creative so if you have any suggestions for me down below on what to try next I'd love to hear from you and yeah that's it until next time bye guys